I think the biggest problem that cities are facing is inequality. And you know, the, the more technological we become, um, the more difficult it is for uh, lower income people who don't have tech skills to keep up. And you can certainly see in um, the civic tech movement around the world, which is largely a, a, an educated middle class movement, that we are really empowering ourselves. We're meeting together in beautiful country houses like this around the world, talking together about civic tech issues, about governance issues that largely affect people who already have wealth and people who already are educated and people already have social mobility. But we're increasingly not including people who are not part of that picture, people who are low income, who uh, don't have education, and these people are not being brought into the tech or the data revolution. I think a big challenge that we face in the 21st century is how to include these people in the programs and policies as a forethought, not an afterthought. And I think a key challenge for most cities is how we take the technologies that we're developing to empower and measure and monitor and instrument our cities and teach other communities who are not part of that revolution how to become part of it. So for example, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm, in a week, I'm going to the city of Medellin, Colombia, where I'm going to be acting as their provisional chief data officer to help them develop a data strategy to be inclusive, specifically, of some of the poorest communities in the, in the city, to help work with the civic tech movement, with startups and incubators, to engage people uh, in poor communities and help them understand how technology can help them improve uh, garbage collection, uh, water uh, use, um, monitor pollution, uh, help with health, um, and make a difference in their lives, but not just as a charity, but also as a community development, as a capacity development exercise, in which we're not just going in there to solve problems for them, in which they don't really understand the solutions themselves, but rather teaming up with these communities to work together with them so that the capacity development is part of an educational process that brings them into the digital revolution and makes them participants in it. And I think that's really key, is that we have to start thinking about how we're more inclusive in our social, economic, and digital policies that we bring our entire cities into the conversation, not just the, the civic administration, the, the core of power in City Hall and all the different uh, departments, but all of the people in the city co-creating together, working together to improve their lives. I think that is the mission for uh, digital technology in cities in the 21st century.